Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. I have a requested video for the holidays. Um, these are recommendations and fragrances that you can purchase for your man, your boo, your mate, your bae, whoever it may be. Um, anyone that loves unisex to masculine leaning scents, um, this is the video for you to watch, all right? So I hope you are subscribed, turn on those notification bells, follow me over on Instagram, you know, let's just have a good old time. So this review was requested by actually a couple of uh, subscribers and uh, followers over on YouTube. So they wanted me to do a masculine fragrance or masculine leaning fragrance unisex video to purchase Christmas gifts for their mate. You still have about three weeks, so you have time. You can find these fragrances at such an affordable price. Uh, some designer fragrances today are gonna cost you about 150, um, approximately uh, maybe that $150, $200 mark after taxes. You can find these fragrances on Fragrance Buy, Fragrance X, Fragrance Net, uh, Max Aroma. You know, there's so many influencers that have discounts of 20%, 30%. Uh, so avant-garde. There's so many great market fragrance sites where you can purchase these and get an amazing deal. Now, most of these fragrances that we're gonna be talking about today, I have about 10 and maybe a couple of honorary. And then I have some other ones that um, alternatives, let's call them that. They're alternatives to these fragrances and they're much more affordable. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the very first one we're gonna talk about today is by the House of Argos. Um, and this is Triumph of Bacchus. In this fragrance, you have a beautiful note of saffron, peach, apple. There's some tobacco, there's some woody notes in this fragrance. This is such a stunning fragrance, you know? And if you want to wear it, you can wear this all year long. This, this would be an amazing signature scent, an amazing work scent, um, and they have discounts on their site. Or you can use my girl Nisha's 10%. I think it's Spicy 10. Um, I'll try to link it down below if I remember. Uh, or go over to Nisha's Spicy Looks, okay? And um, she has a 10% discount for the House of Argos, and this is Triumph of Bacchus. But I, I'm absolutely head over heels for this fragrance. I love smelling it on myself, but I would absolutely love smelling it on my mate as well. Um, it's fruity, it's woody, it's smoky. It's just such a stunning fragrance. And this is Argos, and the bottle is gorgeous as well, you all. This is a beautiful gift. The bottle is just even a beautiful gift, not only the juice. Um, so yeah, get your nose on it. Um, and uh, yeah, an amazing gift for, I would say, I would say for all ages, um, of course, maybe I would say in your 20s, I would not buy this for a teenager, okay? Um, so maybe 20s and above, this would be an amazing gift for that um, age range. All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is the All Loved uh, Angel Share by the House of Killian. Of course, you have a beautiful praline, tonka, vanilla. There's some woody notes in here, y'all. This is such a stunning fragrance. You know, people say this smells like a spiced apple pie. This is the, let's say, this is the husband of La Danza uh, de Le Bleu, okay? Um, there's some boozy notes in here, a beautiful note of cognac. Um, it's a little sweet, vanilla. It's just an amazing fragrance, y'all. Now, this fragrance can be a little pricey. It's harder to find on the gray market. So an alternative to this fragrance, um, it's one called Camra. And Camra is similar to this fragrance. It's not a complete match. Um, I wouldn't call it a dupe, but it still gives you um, that sweet, vanilla, spicy. There's um, some additional fruity notes um, in here, or um, let's say there's some dates in here. Uh, but this is a little spicier, but if you love this one, ladies, um, if you love Angel Share by Killian and you want to get your mate something and you can't seem to, you know, collect the coins for this fragrance right here, then go ahead and get them Camera. Camera is such a beautiful fragrance, y'all. Gorgeous. Both are gorgeous. All right, the next one we're going to talk about that I have an alternative for 
is uh, Mason Francis Kirk John, and this is Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight. Yes, this is expensive, but I definitely have an alternative if you don't mind the difference in bottle, y'all. So uh, this is a beautiful saffron. There's some bitter almond in here. There's some woody notes in here. There's ambergris in here. It's just an absolutely stunning fragrance. It's a head turner. You want to wear this when you're stepping out for the night, when you're going somewhere, a Christmas party, if you're getting um, dressed for a ball. Actually smell it just with waving it um, from the nozzle here. This is a gorgeous fragrance, a little warm, spicy, ambery. It's beautiful. So the alternative for this one, um, and I think this would most likely be the last alternative, you guys. Um, the alternative, which is almost the same, y'all. It's like 75% the same. Of course, this is rich. This is more silky, more luxurious, more refined. Uh, but Amber Oud, I mean, Orient Orientica, um, Amber Rouge comes very close. You guys, these are, this is a dupe for a B540 X straight. Um, if your man or your mate doesn't mind this gaudy looking bottle, then I would say purchase this one almost spot on you guys. Um, you really can't tell that much of a difference unless you're like a super uh, perfumer or a fragrance connoisseur or a reviewer. Um, I can tell the slight difference, but overall, if you want the same scent, then you need to purchase the Orientica Amber Rouge, y'all. Fragrance by, it's, this is all over the place, Max Aroma. Um, and this is about, this is about $400. This is about $50, okay? So get your nose on this. And this is by the House of Orientica. But beautiful, both are beautiful fragrances. Um, I'm gonna recommend a rose fragrance. Uh, I know a lot of men don't wear rose, or if your mate doesn't wear rose, uh, but this is the most amazing ro rose fragrance that I have in my collection. Um, this is a lifer for me. Um, absolutely love it. And this is by the house of um, Bodicea the Victorious. I always say Bodacious, but it's Bodicea the Victorious. And this is uh, Ardent. Ardent is a love like no loves, okay? This is such a stunning unisex rose fragrance. And I think your mate is going to absolutely love it or your man's going to absolutely love it. Um, it's just a gorgeous fragrance, you guys. It's beautiful, there's saffron, there's rose, it's woody, it's silky, it's creamy. Um, Arden is gorgeous. So get your nose on Arden. Um, I'm not sure as to where you can order samples from, but you can purchase this from the actual site or if you live in London, you can purchase it here. It's, uh, but yeah, it's such a gorgeous fragrance and this is Ardent. All right, so I'm gonna try to go in order so we don't forget anything. All right, so let's go with Silky Woods, okay? So um, in Silky Woods, and this is by uh, the house of Goldfield and Banks, this is such a beautiful vanilla fragrance. You have your suede, vanilla, there's some saffron in here as well. Um, there's a bunch of woody notes in here as well. There's oud, but it's not too heavy on the oud. It just smells more like wood to me. Um, I let this fragrance sit and it is macerated. It slightly leans a little masculine to me, uh, but the vanilla, and the, I think there's Elong Elong in here as well, kind of brightens it up. Uh, but it, this definitely, men, you're gonna love this fragrance, okay? Or lady, if you're watching it, get this for your mate, especially if he likes vanillic type fragrances with leather and suede. I get more of a suede, uh, warm suede scent from this fragrance, as in like Rosendo Mateau, uh, number five. That's the kind of suede, uh, warm suede scent I get from this fragrance. Um, and I absolutely love it, but I love the vanilla, the brightness of the vanilla, vanilla the along along, and um, the saffron in here, in here as well. And it's spicy too, warm spicy from the cinnamon. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, tobacco, y'all. Of course, the smokiness, the woodiness from the tobacco. Um, you can find this one on Max Aroma and any other great market site. I think I saw this one on Fragrance Buy as well, you all. Get your nose on this. And this is Silky Woods by Goldfield and Banks. Goldfield and Banks, right? Yeah. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, and I would say, I guess I should do an age range on these fragrance fragrances. That fragrance, Silky Woods, I would say maybe 30 and up on that one. 
ardent, I would say 30 and up. Um, not too many younger people like to wear like rose fragrances that are like in their early 20s, unless you're like super suave and you got some style and some class and you know, you grew up around your grandparents or you know, um, a dad that wore suits all the time. Uh, most younger people don't like rose fragrances. They like a lot of uh, blue fragrances. So, um, but yeah, those that we just talked about, um, aside from the Angel Sheer and the Camera, I would say maybe 30 and up, okay? All right, so the next one, which is 20 and up, age range, um, age range. This is by the House of Initio, and this is Side Effect. Side Effect is vanilla, it's smoky, it's woody, it's boozy. Um, you got your rum in here, you got some woody notes. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It's very silky as well, you know? Absolutely love side effect. Um, get your nose on side effect. Like I said, amazing for 20 and up, but you know, it's it's an all-around fragrance. I would wear this. I would have my mates wear this all year long. You can wear this summer nights. Um, I would say fall, winter, and the spring on any occasion at any um at any time, you guys. Um, so get your nose on this, and this is by the house of initio and this is side effect this is like a fan fave from the house so y'all uh pretty much if you love a smoky woody vanilla boozy smoky woody vanilla you're gonna love this fragrance it's for the grown and sexy y'all okay um all right the next one is one of my favorites i decided to choose this one because it is winter um and the temperature can handle something slightly heavier and this is by bdk and this is grease charnel and this is the extra y'all um so in the extra you know you still get that tea you get the fig you get vanilla i think there's madagascar vanilla in here uh, but you get a rich dose of sandalwood in this fragrance um so in the other one it's a little brighter it's a little fresh you get a little more vetiver in the EDP um, so you can get them the EDP if they don't like the woody notes of, or if they don't like really strong woody notes or the note of sandalwood then I would say get them Grease Charnel uh, the EDP not the extra okay the extra is a little fresh I mean the EDP is a little fresh you can wear that one all year long the extra I would say stick to the I can smell it from here it's sexy, y'all. This is super sexy. This is for, I would say, maybe 30 and up as well or 35 and up, y'all. Um, this is definitely for the grown and sexy. But I would wear this myself. It's a little heavy. Okay, definitely leans a little more masculine than the EDP. Uh, but absolutely, ooh, I love this stuff, y'all. Grease Charnel, and this is the extra. Very, very woody, okay? And that fig is still there. And the black tea and the vanilla is still all there, y'all. All right, so the next one we're going to discuss is one, um, if the person likes lavender, just say they have a job where, you know, they need some mental stimulation, um, if they need some relaxation, if they're a teacher, or maybe um, if they're, even if they're a nurse or a, maybe a supervisor, not really at the bedside for this fragrance. Um, and this is by the House of Christian Dior, and this is a designer fragrance, and you're going to have to order this one from the actual site, um, and this is Feb Delicious. Um, now, in Feb Delicious, you have some cherry, some tonka. This is what I get from this cherry, tonka. You get your praline. You get a little bit of cacao. You get a, a really nice dose of lavender. It's a little earthy in the opening, but then it dries down. A little sweet and woody as well. Um, but yeah, Feb Delicious, a little powdery, y'all. Absolutely, I love this fragrance. You can wear this 365 days a year, and I'm pretty sure your man is going to absolutely love this fragrance. If they don't love it in the opening, they're definitely gonna love this in the mid or the dry down. But a little bit of cherry, it's not too um, feminine, it's not too sweet on the cherry, but you do get that powderiness, that woody powderiness um, from the lavender, the praline, the chocolate. Yeah, it's a gorgeous fragrance. Um, Feb Delicious. All right, so the next one is uh, Ray Spirits, okay? Uh, we want, I just did a review on this fragrance, so we're not gonna go through completely all of the notes, but to me, there's a hefty dose. Um, there's some caramel in here. This is supposed to be boozy. This is very woody. You know, there's, did I say there's some vanilla in here as well? Um, but to me, I already said, it's gorgeous. It's gourmand. This is a beautiful fragrance. You know, very, very affordable, okay? Um, very affordable. So I would say out of all of the ones today, 
This is probably, aside from the alternatives that I gave you, uh, Ray Spirits by the House of Navitus Parfums, this is probably the most affordable fragrance here today. Um, I think you can probably get this, even if you purchase multiple, you can get this for about 25% off. Um, one, I think you can get for 20% off. When they had, when this initially came out, of course, I think we got like um, a better deal, it was like under $90. But now you can get this for about like 120. Absolutely stunning deal. Um, amazing on the performance for me because I spray heavy on clothes and skin at least 12 times. This lasts me all day long, at least 10 hours, um, but it's a beautiful fragrance. But to me, it smells like it has a hefty dose of um, cardamom in here. It smells like Minway Demi to me, which is also unisex. It smells like Changing Constance, but better performance, which is also unisex. You guys, this is just, it's, it's a little nutty. Um, you get a little bit of caramel in here. Praline in here. This is good, y'all. And this is Ray Spirits by the House of Navitus Parfums. Um, yeah, I love this stuff, y'all. Get your nose on it. Ray Spirits. Actually bought this one for a friend of mine, and I know he's going to love it. All right, so the next one we have is uh, by the House of Initio as well. Oh, this is beautiful. And this is a freshie. Um, you're buying it for Christmas or as a Christmas gift, uh, but you can wear this. It's mentally stimulating. Wear this at home when you want to cozy up with your boo just around the house or just if you need something like just to relax you, y'all. Um, and this is by the house of uh, Initio and this is Musk Therapy. I love Musk Therapy and, and initially I was not going to purchase this one because I had Mont Blanc Signature, but I figured, hey, I could do a review on that as well. The guy can wear this, the lady can wear Mont Blanc Signature. The fragrances are so much alike, but this one has a beautiful note. This one's, the musk in here is amazing. You can, it smells like a natural musk. Um, there's black currant in here. Um, there's a mandarin. There's hedion. There's white sandalwood. Such a stunning fragrance, and such it's such a mentally stimulating fragrance as well. Uh, but must therapy, I absolutely love. Get your nose on it if you want to buy yourself something, ladies. Like I said, um, get Mont Blanc Signature for yourself. It's that really creamy orange sickle mandarin. It's clementine actually. There's a bunch of clementines. There's lemon. It's it's creamy it's like tonic it smells like a spa um and this one y'all you guys are going to be smelling amazing all right so this is a uh, by the house of initio parfums and this is must therapy love this stuff i gave this away i had two um travel sizes of these and i gave one away to my driver in costa rica and uh, and the other one to the waiter in costa rica and they absolutely loved it all right so the next one we're going to discuss is ooh, this is like my number one out of every single one of these here. Uh, not even like affordability. You can purchase this one. I purchased mine on Max Aroma and I got about $90 off. And this is by the House of Roja Dove, okay? Um, this is Elysium. There are a ton of notes in this fragrance. I'm buying my man Elysium, period. Like he's getting Elysium. Oh, yeah. This is such an amazing fragrance. And I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. And if you love, if you love your man, then you need to buy him Elysium, okay? <laughs> so let me shine up the bottle for you guys. The bottle is stunning. Um, I also want to get my nose on Enigma as well. Enigma's amazing as well. I've smelled it a couple times, but I actually want a bottle for myself, you know? Uh, but yeah, my man will probably be getting Enigma and Elysium, okay? Love them both. They're stunning fragrances. This one, like I said, you can purchase on Max Aroma, and you could probably get a good uh, deal for this. Um, I got, like I said, about, I think, $100 off of this fragrance. So... In here, um, you have your grapefruit, lime, there's a beautiful jasmine in here. Um, you have your juniper berry, you have some apple, there's so many notes, ambergris, um, cedar, leather, black currant, pink pepper, benzoin. Um, it says that there's leather in here, but I don't get any leather from this fragrance. Like I when I uh initially purchased a travel size of Elysium, excuse me, I completely fell in love. I actually had a tester 
uh, from a sample from Lucky Scent, you know, and then I, after the sample, I fell in love with Elysium. Then I knew that I had to purchase a travel size. The travel size led me to a big bottle, but I did only wear that fragrance in the summertime when I was out at the pool or the beach or whatever. And I did spray it light because it does, it definitely leans a little masculine. Um, only because of the vetiver and the grapefruit in there. Um, it's pretty beast and it's strong. So to me, that makes this fragrance lean a little masculine, but I am loving this. Out of all of my fragrances um, in my collection, um, my man would definitely get this one first, okay? Um, <laughs> all right, so y'all, um, such a beautiful, bright, citrusy, uh, fruity fragrance with a woody dry down, uh, but you still, it still maintain those fruits in the dry down as well, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, there's leather in here, but I don't get the leather at all, and I'm very sensitive to leather. It's gorgeous, y'all, and it's for a gorgeous, gorgeous man or someone that loves masculine, a uh, unisex to masculine lady scents. Get your nose on this one. All right, so the next one, sorry, something in my eye um is Herod okay um Herod is mine as well but I would love uh, Herod Ojan all of them I just put Ojan in my cinnamon um my cinnamon dominant fragrance video so I didn't want to put it in this one I chose Herod because I think most men lean towards Herod because of the tobacco note inside it's very masculine in the opening and then it dries down to a warm spicy smoky and woody vanilla and I absolutely love this it's a little warm spicy as well so in here you have your cinnamon tobacco osmanthus vanilla isoe super cedar and there's musk as well um the osmanthus does brighten it up just a little bit um and that's in the opening and the mid but in the dry down you just get a really pretty airy fresh uh woody and smoky vanilla it's beautiful i love 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 Herod. if i ran out of Herod, i would definitely purchase this again you can find this one at a very affordable price on some of these gray market fragrance sites as well y'all all right so i think that is it that's about 10 of them um and these are my recommendations from my collection uh, most of these i just i layer with you know because i do love super feminine fragrances uh, but these you can wear alone. They're, like I said, they're leaning masculine, unisex, too leaning masculine. But you know, us women, we absolutely love them. If you love fragrances, y'all, then you would absolutely love these as well. So I hope those are good recommendations for you all. Um, leave me down in the comments fragrances that you would recommend so that other people could see them as well. Um, you would recommend unisex but mainly masculine leaning because that is what was requested uh masculine leaning fragrances that you would buy for your mate for the holidays y'all all right have an amazing day go on to the world spread amazing siage and y'all look at these beautiful earrings you know i always have to show you my earrings because somebody usually most people comment on my earrings you know i purchased these earrings over in greece this is like ceramic here but this is gold there's nothing on this side but absolutely love, love, love these earrings out. They go with just about everything. All right, go on to the world, spread amazing siage, do good, be good, all of that. Um, you, know, you guys already know what I want for Christmas. If anybody gets me anything for Christmas, let it be earrings, okay? <laughs> I can never have enough stunning earrings. All right, all right, love you all, bye-bye.